it's actually 11,000 years ago. Yeah. Mm. Something happened to the earth that melted the polars yeah. and we had a, a sea level rise yes. and what they're finding now not just here in West Australia but at the bottom where the bite was mm. the songs tell that the people were living out to sea yeah. and then this thing happened and yeah. so there was a forced migration in mm. what we're saying is that yeah. this is indigenous science yeah. Yeah. this yeah. wisdom has been here from the beginning of time in yeah. all the disciplines yeah. and yeah. stop you know being elitist open our minds That's to right. the reality and be, and be human beings. Yeah. So these experiences, these stories are all about how the world changes yeah. and what do we do as human beings. I think one of the other things you said to me, Popnor, was about the whales yes. mm. and about the way that the whales connect this place to exactly. the international and to yeah. the world. Exactly. And that, a that's beautiful whales story. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I feel yeah. I come in because I'm in both those worlds at the moment. I'm in the Geneva world, I'm in the international world. Yeah. And I'm here. Well, it looks like you're connected to the whale song now. Yeah. Yeah. Too good. So. Yeah. Yeah. When the sea level rose, about 150 metres. Yeah. Our site we used for our access in, in the Dreaming was out there, 70 k's off mm -hmm. Remans. Oh. It's in a cliff. They call it the Continental Shelf. Mm. It's a great big cavern, monstrous. Mm. Three blue whales can swim in there at the same time. Oh my God. And because we used to access it, it's our spiritual record. It mm. would give us all the energy we needed. It gave us all the understanding of how we had to live together on the land with everything else. And because we can't physically get in there anymore, mm -hmm. those whales go in. Oh. And they sing a song, you know. Yeah, that. beautiful. That long call they make, you know, goes right through. Mm. And they go in there, and the old song they were singing for the last two or three years, finished. Mm. So they draw up a whole new song. It takes them three weeks just cruising around. Once they got it, they move out. Another three comes in. Mm. This mob go into the Indian Ocean and follow the deep trenches along the coast of the continent that way. Yeah. And around. Then the three that come in, they go that way. Mm. Down the south, round to Adelaide then into the Pacific mm. and then they take the message to all the people around the world. You know, everything is connected by the rivers, the sea, the ocean, all of the continents are connected through this umbilical cord that brings us all together. So climate change is real, why not listen to the oldest science in the world which is our knowledge, the knowledge that is place based in every other continent, get to know the indigenous people, feel the land, hear the land. Hear your human spirit, because we call it in our language, wake up the snake. Mm. How do we wake up the consciousness of the people to bring the people with us? Because we're all here together. Learning about the ways of the ancient people that have lived on the land that they're now living on. And how they've eked out an existence and uh, gone about their business and uh, made sure that everything, everything was cared for and looked after and kept safe and secure. Unless, as I said, we take that knowledge and wisdom and learn from it. That's right. Mother Earth will be lonely without yeah. our vibrations yeah. upon the Earth. So we're in a moment in time where we have to act. And 
yeah. country is giving us signs, country is changing, yeah. climate change is real, yeah. you know what I mean? We've gone from climate change to climate chaos and That's climate right. wars, so we need a different way to tell the story, to bring the people with us, yeah. and we need, as, as you were sharing, a story that will touch your spirit, your human spirit, to connect you to the land. It is building a coalition of hope, yeah. of goodwill, of how we move forward in a spirit of collaboration, because we are dealing with complexity when we're talking about climate change. This is a man-made disaster. Yeah. And so in order to right-size the planet, we need to bring in all of this collected wisdom. Yep. And why would you not go to the oldest science in the world, whether it's in Brazil, whether it's in Canada, whether it's in Switzerland, whether it's, you know, all over the place. This knowledge exists. Yep. It is a gift from Indigenous people across the yep. planet that are saying, wake up, wake up your consciousness. Climate change is real. And we've all got to recognise the fact that we're all part of the problem. So we're also all part of the solution. Exactly. So we have faith, your brother and sister from two ends of this state. Yeah coming together because we like believe bookends. in dreaming together yeah. for the best thing of the planet because oh, we cannot let this world be undone. It's unfinished business. We have to change. Most importantly, we have to be brave and we have to have this emergence of a conversation because humanity and Mother Earth depends on it. Not only do we have a dream, but we send the dream out and we must walk and work very, very hard to give climate chaos a climate chance beautiful hey. <laughs> <laughs>